Time to know the top stories of the day. I am Ace Perez and this is News Bits tonight. Majority of the Dabawenos are unaware of the high-priority bus system according to a citywide survey conducted by the Ateneo de Davao University. Rona Villarreza has a story. According to the 12th series of citywide social survey of the Ateneo de Davao University, only 34% of Davaoenos are aware of the HPBS implementation, leaving 66% unaware. ADU URC Chairperson Lordisita Chan said the survey was conducted in October 25 to 29, surveying 528 adults in all three districts in the city. Chan said they had yet to break down whether the surveyed individuals are from areas where in the route of the HPBS or the peak R augmentation bus systems are deployed. Meanwhile, 43.6% of those who were aware agree with the implementation of the new bus system in the city. Also, 83% of them responded that it is beneficial to the city. However, Land Transportation, Franchising and Regulatory Board Davao Region Director Arman Bioso said the survey result is contradicting to their own observations as a bus system has been a public clamor since then. CTTMO from February to May this year conducted a survey during the implementation of pubs wherein 1,200 pubs passengers and 1,200 POJ passengers and POJ terminals were conducted. Pubs was issued early February to accommodate the lack of public utility vehicles operating in areas of Turil and Catalunan Grande. New routes such as in Panacan, Lasang, Cabantian, Buhangin, in Kalinan were added. Rona Villarreza, Newsbeats Tonight. Lifting of martial law in Mindanao by the end of the year is supported by the Presidential Children, Davao City Mayor Sara Duterte Carpio and Vice Mayor Sebastian Duterte. Rob Kumba has a story. Davao City Vice Mayor Sebastian Duterte said lifting of martial law in Mindanao is a prerogative of President Rodrigo Duterte. He said he will also let the police or the military to speak on the necessity on the non-renewal of the martial law. Martial law was declared in the entire Mindanao in 2017 following the insurgency attack of the terrorist group Maute, an ISIS-inspired group in Marawi City in Lanao del Sur. Meanwhile, Davao City Mayor Sara Duterte Carpio in a press release welcomed the lifting of martial law, adding this would be beneficial for the economy of Davao City. The mayor said in a previous report that the declaration of martial law negatively affected the city when foreign governments issued travel bans, including Canada. She said that the effect of the declaration of martial law was more on foreign investments. Rob Gumba, Newsbits Tonight. To check more stories, visit our website www.sunstar.com.ph slash Davao, subscribe on our YouTube channel, and follow our social media accounts on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can also grab a copy of Sunstar Davao at Davao Central Convenience Stores, 7-Eleven, and nearest news outlets. That's all you need to know for tonight, and it's 13 days before Christmas. Good evening.